Hey everybody, Orpheus here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Black and White 2. Last time, we went through Route 2, cut ourselves the last event's Pokemon. And, we're up to near Spurgeous City this time. We are here on the very first route. At long last, we are back here on Route 1. It seems like we'd never be back here, but alas, we are. Beep, beep. So yeah, anyways, in this route there are no new Pokemon, just the Dinos and uh, pretty much the same stuff from the last route, for the most part. Not really much here for right now. After you, eh, meh. I just want to take down the Adino because it's free experience. So, next up. I'm going to be bringing on Trouza because we're going to be going for the main boss here. Avoiding you. Talking to you. Is your Pokemon HP alright? If there's room in the bag, I'll leave you this. Put it in the bag's medicine case. Thanks for the potion! <laughs> that would have been useful like 80 episodes ago. When your Pokemon's HP decreases, they're no longer able to have the energy to fight. So don't push your Pokemon too hard. And let them rest often. Yeah, sure. Coming to you. Two years ago, Potato, a trainer from November Town, did some amazing things, including battling Team Plasma and saving Nova. It was I who told that trainer is that who told that trainer that wild po Pokemon are hiding in the tall grass, and that you can battle or capture wild Pokemon there. So you could say I'm the I'm one of the people who saved Nova too. If only that easy, bud. So heading to the south. Make sure you're all healed and ready to go. Because when we start heading back to November Town. Hey! I found. I have some fond memories of this place. One day, Potato Sharon and I took, all gathered right here and took our first steps on our adventure. It's a very special spot. Hey, Potato. Let's all take our first step onto Route 1 together. One, two... Ah! That's what I said. Hey, while we're here, have a Pokemon battle with me. Talking about Potato put me in the mood for a Pokemon battle. It has been so long since Black and White won. So, we have ourselves a battle against Bianca. This battle only happens if you have done the memory link. So... Bianca is starting with Statlin, level 63, Intimidate for the ability. 50 and easy, 68 in hard mode. Ice Fang, Surf, Wild Charge, and Return. So yeah, Bianca isn't too bad. Only a little bit harder than what we've been fighting, but generally not that bad. Oof. And still, that's fine. We're just fine. Okay, you're gonna be healing up. Eh. Another jump kick to the face. Alright. Shouldn't be too much more. Another wild charge and you're done. Oh yeah. There we go. Bianca's first Pokemon is down. And we got ourselves a Moxie. Next up, you're gonna be sending up Mean Shao. Eh. Mean Shao, what do I wanna do? You probably have U turn. Yeah, I'll bring you up. Mean Shao, level 58, 63, 68, and her focus for the ability. Drain Punch, U turn, fake out, and return. Alright, hit it with a Thunder. Nice, they're actually quicker. Your turn. Eh. Could be better. Going right back to Bianca. Next up, Chandelure, level 60, level 58, 63, 68, flash fire for the ability. Shadow Ball, overheat, psychic, and return. I'll have you know I have an Akane that's ready to be fried. Who knew Flash Fire would be so useful? Yeah. 
Thanks for the free experience. Come right down. Shadow Ball? Yeah, sure, bud. Take you out. Really? Ooh. That kind of hurt, you know that. There we go. Shun Ruler is down. Easy. And next up, we're going to be seeing, bringing out Simapore. Very interesting. Simapore! If you started with Topeg in Pokemon Black and White. Level 58, 63, 68, gluttony for the ability, Surf, Rock Slide, Brick Break, and Return. Alternatively, Simus if you started with Snivy in Black and White. 58, 63, 68, gliding for the ability, flame throw, rock side, break, break, and return. And Simba Sage, you start with Oshawa and Pokemon Black and White. Level 58, 63, 68, gliding for the ability, energy ball, rock side, brick, break, and return. Hit you with a good old thunder. There we go. Next up, Musharna. Um. Trouser sure. Next up, Musharna level 58, 63, 68, 401 for the ability. Yawn, Dream Eater, Psychic, and Return. Can't do much of anything. Yeah, that's at least your worries, Musharna. You got some crunches heading your way. Yawn! Crap, now I'm yawning again. Then again, I've been tired all day. Okay, another crunch. Down goes Musharna. <sighs> there we go. And Trouser grew to 71. Nice. And here's the part where I fall asleep. Next up means Shao again. Connie, get back out there. I've already gone over means Shao. That was going by really quickly. Alright, extreme speed. Fake out, really. I have a rocky helmet, you know. <laughs> and lastly, Superior. Um, I'll give you in. Superior, level 60... Level 60, 65, 70, overgrowth the ability. Leaf Storm, Dragon Tail, Coil, and Return if you start with a pig in black and white. Alternatively, Ambor if you start with Oshawott in black and white. 60, 65, 70, Blaze for the ability. Flare Blitz, Break Break, Wild Charge, and Return. Use Overheat. Coil? Eh. Not good. Because now your returns will hurt more. I was expecting that. Burn! There we go. Superior is down. Samurai, if you start with Snivy Black and White, 60, 65, 70, turn for the ability, Aqua Tail, Return, Exos, and Aerial Ace. Thank you for having a battle with me. It was lots of fun. Dee hee! You're so tough, you're just like Potato. Okay, I just have to remember that. I felt like like back then and worked hard too. Thanks, see you. And Bianca is back on her trails. But most importantly, we have returned here to Novemba Town. The place where it all started. With a zinc here laying in the road. So here in Novemba Town, we have Potato's house right here. Where it all began. Welcome home, dear. Did you find the friend you're looking for? Was his name something like N? Huh? Excuse me? How embarrassing! Mistaking a visitor from my own child. Uh, your Vance? Yes, I knew it. You look just like her. I know your mom. I met her when she was working at the Pokemon Center. Now as a trainer. 
That's right, how are your Pokemon? You're always welcome to let them rest here. So you can talk to... You, but you can talk to the, um... Well, I guess you can say Potato's mom, um... I guess the, uh... The old protagonist room. We can come here and we get ourselves a King's Rock. The sheets on the bed haven't had a single wrinkle. This PC doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Anything else? It's a Wii console, it's a Wii remote. Hmm. So yeah. So, inside this house. This room changes depending on your achievements in Pokemon Black and White 1. If you're able to complete the regional Pokedex in Black and, Black, Black and White 1, catching every single Pokemon, you'll have yourself the normal... You'll get yourself the regional diploma and the, uh, national index diploma if you're able to catch all all the, leg all the Pokemon except for the, uh, mystical Pokemon. Down here, if you're able to get to a low, to a, a 49 win streak in the regular, the double, and the multi-battle super trains, you'll get yourself some, uh, trophies there. That stuff stays the, ch stays the same. Well, they'll transfer over if you've done Memory Link. The power science is amazing! Now you can use infrared Now you can use infrared to trade and have battles. All in a blink of an eye. So yeah. And right here is Bianca's house. I see, so you're on a Pokemon journey too. I'm quite impressed with you. And, your, and with your parents too. After always being together as family, and now not having you around. I bet I'll bet no. I'm sure they're worried about you out on your own. Be sure to tell them all about what happens on your travels. Oh, so you received a Pokedex from Professor Juniper. That daughter of mine looks at her Pokedex every chance she gets. She's always going on about the many Pokemon and many, many, many memories it contains. So, heading up to Bianca's room. Not much has changed here. She has Bianca's tiny bed. And yeah. Funny how time goes. Our next house is going to be Sharon's house. Hmm? That's pretty as City's gym badge you have there. Wow, so you're the first challenger of my son's gym. Thanks, a gym leader without a challenger is just an ordinary trainer. In other words, thanks to you, Sharon became a real gym leader. Let me give you this as thanks. And you obtain the berry juice. Yay. Traveling is great. You encounter so much you've never seen and many things you don't yet understand. For each new thing that comes, you grow and change a little a little bit more. Oh my, you resemble a potato somehow. Your name's Vance, you say? Wow, well, you got a Pokedex too. Everyone grows up like this now, don't they? Yeah, they do. And then up here in Sharon's room. Yeah, there's not really much up here. It was most of the berry juice in this house. Let's just go back and see, like, how much they've grown. But since we are here in town, I think it's time we pay a visit to the professors. Why, hello! Thank you for coming clear out here. It's surprising how far Nuvemba Town is from a spurious city. Don't you agree? You should take Scarrow Bridge and encounter lots of Pokemon. On that note, how's your Pokedex coming along? Can I see it? I see, so you've seen 293 Pokemon in the Nova region. My wonderful Pokedex, a little more work and it'll be complete. I'm really glad I asked you to do this. Keep up the good work. I have something I'd be delighted to give you if you meet every Pokemon registered in the Innova Dex. Check every corner of the Innova region for Pokemon, do your best. Sounds like Professor Juniper is holding out something extremely good and why I've been so keen on getting every single Pokemon. We're at, we are almost there. Hey Vance, are you meeting lots of Pokemon? There's really lots of Pokemon in the Nova region and the rest of the world. I made a habitat list so people will know that. Well, I'll bet you're here because you're here to show me how your Pokedex is coming along, right? I see, so you caught 95 Pokemon then. First, you might want to revisit places you've already been. Chase your steps in the Nova region and see, how many, see what new Pokemon turn up. Oh, that's right! I completely, free, I completely forgot to give you this in Aspersia. Here, th this is the Super Rod. At long last, we have the Super Rod. With the Super Rod, you can even catch Pokemon who live underwater. 
Here, I'll, I'll read the instructions to you. First, face the water and cast. Second, concentrate. When a Pokemon bites, you'll see an exclamation point. That means start reeling in. So cool. So, with that, we get ourselves the rod. With the rod, a lot of new Pokemon has opened up. So, you kind of know what that means. There's a lot of new Pokemon available. There's been a couple trainers here on this route that I skipped out. On purpose. That's right. Go ahead and run away from you. So... Coming this way, we have ourselves a hiker here and I never healed, oh well. Backpackers are exactly what they sound like. They sit on the road with only the, only the packs of their backs and the Pokemon and their Pokeballs. So, while we are fighting you, we can go over the new Pokemon here. Starting with the Pokemon found in the water in Route 1, Feebas! Feebas is a water type Pokemon set similar to Magikarp and Move Pool, aka Sucks. Why do I like Feebas? Well, if you trade holding a Prism Scale, you get Melotic. Melotic is a powerful tank tank having very high special defense and very pretty good special attack. Its ability makes it a sleep talk set and rest very good. My friends and I fought on occasion and they hate this Pokemon. Because of how annoying it is. So yeah, it's actually a really good Pokemon. Somewhat diverse Moopo, not the best, but it's still pretty decent. Amazing defensive capabilities. It's a really good water type Pokemon for you to use. Next up, I forgot to bring up... Oh well. I guess next up here, in areas like around the Himalaya City, you'll find Love Disk. Well, what is there? Good news is high speed, bad news. Everything else sucks. Low attack, check. Low defense, check. Low move full, check. Ability that does nothing to really help in the long run, check. Unless it, it is in the rain. Then it is faster. Useless, check. Plus, plus. I'll probably have, I, I don't remember what other bio is. Because I had another bio for Love Disk that's, that was like top tier. Okay, I think I found it. I don't remember where it is, but... Yeah, I'll keep you in, sure. I'm curious, where is it? I think it's an X and Y. Yeah, I do want to read you guys the notes. Because I actually have some really good notes on, um... Love Disc. Next up, the leap. Um, Lunarite, sure. Bring you in. Nope, it wasn't Emerald. Where was the notes? Um, Psychic, sure. I'm trying to find notes because I had really good notes for for the leap. Or is it Alpha Sapphire? Because I know somewhere I had some good notes for Lilip. Nope. I wish I could, I could pack some wins in my backpack thing too. Hurry up Google Docs, load faster. Well I guess coming further, another Pokemon you can encounter is Cedra. Well, not Cedar, um, uh, Sea King. Sea King's pretty mediocre Pokemon. It can learn Waterfall, that's about it. It's not really the best Pokemon out there. Mediocre in most of everything, and yeah, I kind of say pass. It's just mediocre in many ways. It's eh. A jump kick. Nice. Nope, wasn't here. Might have been in, in uh, Sun and Moon notes. You can tell how to start to die. I'm just searching through all my notes just to find one bio of Love Disc. So much so I'm neglecting everything else. I could probably de squeeze in more in this episode. Okay, Thunder. So yeah, I guess next up, Shelter. Shelter is a bulky water-type Pokemon that has really good defense. It evolves with the Water Stone into Clayster. Clayster is a good physical wall, having high defense. Or at least it looks like... It's kind of like Onyx in that it has no special attack whatsoever. 
And yeah. Yep, I found the love disc notes. I found it. Anerith, Mermidon, sure. So, the, the golden love disc notes. I was saving this for Sun and Moon, but since this will be my last bio, my last let's play, I might as well go over the uh, other love disc notes. Love disc. So two employees walk into a bar, both in horrible relationships. They're working on the Hoenn Pokedex, coming up with new Pokemon. Both of their relationships were hitting rock bottom. They're always complaining. Through their drunken shenanigans, they came up with the perfect way to represent love. By making love turn you on your sides, unable to defend themselves against any arguments, they're able to hit back after a short yet seemingly fast fight. Having to give up fast. In order to show how fast they represented their relationship went down the drain, they gave it a high speed stat and when it rains because the speed because because the uh, speed speeds up to represent them being dumped in the rain. Because that sums up Love Disc pretty nicely. There we go. Fell fish my way through two battles. Just trying to find one bloody note. No, why don't we watch this, my crap? Metal burst, ew. Ow. That really hurt. You know that, right? Anyways, next up, Relicanth. Relicanth can be found on Route 4. Relicanth isn't that great of a Pokemon. It's like Sheldon has a good physical defense, but slow and a very low special defense. Plus, speed, and plus we do not need this Pokemon or a Whale Lord for Sink and Reggie's. What makes Relicanth worse than Shoulder? It has very huge weakness to grass. Relicanth has quite weakness to grass. Hinders Relicanth a lot, makes it not that great. It might have good good attack set and all, but Shallow Smoothful isn't really that best, and I kind of say pass. Already went over Goldeen. We have water here. Let's go ahead and cross. Next up, Krabby. Krabby fell under the same curse as Corefish and having very high attack in the games where water moves are special. It doesn't have that great of specials, anyways. Low is special attack and special defense. Makes up for having high attack and defense, making it pretty decent Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah. He has a decent move pool, access to Crab Hammer and such. Pretty alright. Um, Sinclair, sure. So yeah, it suffers having low special stats, but it's faster than most other Pokemon. Um, you know, while I'm here, might as well show off fishing. So fishing, you can get yourself rare Pokemon by fishing in the surf, in a uh, Pokemon encounter spots. Probably should register it. So yeah. It doesn't have the best move pool. It's kind of shallow. It's not the greatest Pokemon water type out there. It's not a level in terms of move pool. It's just there. Eh. It's alright. Not the best, but not the worst. Next up, we have Qu Quillfish. Can Quillfish be used as a maze weapon for other Pokemon? No. Okay, it sucks. In all reality, Quillfish does kind of suck. It has balanced stats in its stats, but suffers from early gen bug of having pretty low stats all around compared to later Pokemon. So yeah, Mooful isn't the best and has some pretty de decent stats, except for the uh, normal type moves the Pokemon can learn. It's not really that special. I, I would like it more, but it's just not really that great. Not as bad as Love Disk, but kind of pushing it. Here we get ourselves a full restore. So, next up, we need to talk to you. I said talk to you. I want to be like the trainers on Route 1. Ugh, really Durant. Well, we can see that, that the trainers are getting a bit tougher because level 66. A lot stronger than the other Pokemon around here. Because we're getting into the mid-upper mid, mid upper 60s now. Pretty soon we'll be fighting level 70 Pokemon. So yeah, that will be really fun. At least our team's been leveling up really nicely. Durant's down. Nice. Next up, Espionage. Tries for sure. Alright. 
Bring it on, Espeon. Okay, front. Honestly, Zord, you're an ace trainer! Unless you don't have any other moves you can use. If that's the case, it sucks for you. Give me my Moxie. Lastly, Hodge Bro. Interesting. Sinclair, Rock Blast it. Turn down and see if there's any other Pokemon around. I don't think so. So yeah. Oh, Quillfish is available in the next area. Oops. I hate the game. It should hopefully kill as long as it get. Okay, yeah. There we go. Hunch Crow is down. So, this is Route 1. Yeah. One butt kick to roll them all. Okay, I knew we got healed quick. Alright then. Next up, another Ace Trainer. I'll probably go ahead and skip this battle. Pokemon and people, and now you and I. Pokemon and people, that's what this world is made of. That and easy experience. Seriously. Using Astonish. Really? Well, we have a required trainer here. I, I choose a Pokemon, and my Pokemon will do that move. In a moment, you, the move... Sorry, in a moment, the move will reach your Pokemon. And then, it will get critted. And my Pokemon will faint, and I'll send it another Pokemon. And that Pokemon will miss its move. And then, you'll use another move, and it'll make my Pokemon faint. But, anyways, enough derping out of the way, we have ourselves a Pokemon of interest. Wigglytuff. So, get one clipped. Really? Infatuated when you're done? GG. Next up, Vile Bloom. Literate, get out here. See, so yeah, that was the main tra trainer of interest. Alright, Soy Kick. Nice, Valdum is gone. And lastly, Giraffe Rig. Interesting, most interesting. Rubidon, get out of here. So, yeah, that's one of our Pokemon added. X is a... There we go. Not enough for level up. Not lost, but during the battle we were connected, right? Eh, maybe. I don't know, potato. So, Lumberry. Very good for heading off. Today, from today to tomorrow, people of Pokemon in the world. They're all connected, you know? Yep, by the bonds of fate or some crap like that. Anyway, he's got yourself another trainer here. I'm not running now, but I usually barrel through as quickly as I can. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. I don't think we've encountered Vigoroth yet. Three. Good crit. Four. Five. I don't know if we encountered Vigoroth yet. I don't remember. I don't think we did. Well, now we did. Stantler next. Sorry, you're going down really easily. Okay, tail slap. Seriously? Not enough. 
Eat this bullet seed. There we go. And lastly, Victory Bell. Okay, Lunarant, get some experience. Okay. Psychic, and we're done here. Leaf Storm, ew, this'll hurt. Yeah, GG, mate. I have not crossed the finish line of victory. Nope, only suffering. So, Lumberry, a little present before heading off to the final routes. Run and run in cities and on mountain paths. Run and feel the winter world around you with your whole being. Alright, with that positivity, and the way we get ourselves another prism scale. So, another Milotic for you if you want to. So, protein right here. Before I forget. So, I think that is it here, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is being picked up. So, with that, I think we made pretty good progress this episode. We managed to make it down to Nuvema Town. Get ourselves a final objective that I've been working for towards for a long time. And... A new route awaits. Next time, Pokemon Black and White 2. We head to new areas. To the final routes. I'll see you guys then.